Hi everyone, it's Kim from Affordably Crafty. Doing a little bit different of a video today. I haven't done an affordably cooking video in a while and I really wanted to share with you some of these deals I found and some tips and tricks on how you can find some stuff at the grocery store. So hey, if you're new here, welcome. Sometimes I do cooking videos. <laughs> Uh, I'm Kim and this is Affordably Crafty. Please like, share, and subscribe. Also follow me on Instagram and join my Facebook group where I post about all my deals, steals, and freebies I find in my travels in the crafting world and the cooking world. Ding, ding. Check out my Affordably Cooking playlist below if this is content that you're interested in. I'm also contemplating making a second channel. Let me know what you think about that down below. I'd really love to hear your opinion. Okay, so... I'm gonna spin the camera around and we're gonna talk about some of the stuff I have set up on, on the, the counter over here. So today we're gonna to be talking about uh, past their prime goods at the market and what to buy and what not to buy. I basically choose my place to shop based on their markdown protocol. Like, do they have like a second best vegetable section? Do they have a program for marking down their meats and like what are their markdown programs and my favorite by far is market basket near me i will go to other places i will also use flash food when there is something i can use if you don't know what that is i'll link it down below along with my referral code um it's a way you can know what clearance you're getting before you get to the store and like stop and shop which is a big user of that near me um they mark their meat down 50 percent if it's at flash food, but in the aisle, it's only 33%. So you might be getting a higher discount using that. So just keep that in mind. All right, I'm going to flip the camera around and talk about what's on my countertop. Okay, see you in a minute. Hey, hey, so this is Market Basket. Um, let me know down below what your favorite uh, grocery store is as far as stretching your dollar, your food dollar. Um, so the first thing I'm going to talk about is second past their prime stuff. So one of the first areas I always go to is the bakery. So this is ciabatta, roasted garlic ciabatta. Um, this is amazing to cut up and make into croutons. This is amazing to make garlic bread out of. It's really, really good. Or just to put on the grill and use to dip and stuff. So this is $2.94. I saved $1.25 off this. It's normally $4.19. This is something that either I can use right away or if I'm gonna make into croutons, it can sit for a couple days. I don't have to use it expediently. Um, also stuff like this. So when they have like yogurts and stuff on clearance, they just mark it down to like 99 cents or 79 cents. And these are normally like, uh, they're on sale right now for four, for five. So $1.20 each but they're usually a lot more than that. These are Siji's probiotic whole milk drinkable yogurts. And the date on this is the 15th of May. So when you're doing this, you wanna real realistically say, if there's, a, if there's a date on it, will I use it by then? Um, I will definitely use this by then because I love yogurt. I will drink a yogurt a day. I am not stuck on it definitely having to be drunk by the 14th or 15th of May, but hey, that's cool. Siji's is more of a higher end, low sugar, brand. Vegetables. So let's look at something like this. So I grabbed this head of iceberg lettuce. It's reduced. It's 99 cents. So that's a big cost savings. Now the reason this was reduced, as you can see how it's wrapped, is the plasticky bag thing it normally comes in got destroyed for some reason or another. So it is not browning in any way. It just lost its official packaging. So it got marked down to this. This is like my favorite way to score stuff on that reduced veggie rack because it just for some reason can't be sold because there's no packaging and I will definitely take that for 99 cents all day. Then you get to something like this. Now I think the normal price on cauliflower right now is $3.99 or $4.99. $1.19, yes please. As you can see, it's starting to brown just a little. Uh, not a problem. These are gonna get slapped right on the oven with olive oil and probably just some seasoning I have in my cabinet on it and they will be scrum diddly umptious. We do like cauliflower in this house, and this is not anything that's gonna deter me from using it. Check the amount of brownness or spots, or especially in the case of tomatoes and um, 
fruit, the mold monster. You don't want to buy stuff with the mold monster. So here, as you can see, I got this Village Farms Heavenly Villaggio Marzano. So these are mini San Marzano, San Marzano tomatoes, which are great for cooking and for sauce. They have a low water content. On sale for three, they're normally $5 for this package. Now I did check and make sure it has a little bit of buckling, but there is no split open tomatoes. There's no, um, what do you call it? No mold. So this is a great buy. My daughter loves to just eat these as they are, but these will also be good with chicken because they have a low water content, uh, like just fried up in the pan. Then I love when they do stuff like this. Oh my God, this is so heavy. This is a potato size bag. <laughs> it is 3.35 pounds of fresh green beans. Um, a lot of times this stuff ends up in here because it may be misshapen. It may be, it snapped in half, which I can just cut off those dry ends. Um, some of them may be brown, but I find these to be a really good deal. So they're 265. I don't remember what they were per pound normally, but this is an amazing deal. We usually have these either steamed or I'll do them with um, garlic and olive oil um, on the stove. I don't generally bake these in the oven, but oh my God, this is amazing. And my kids love these. So that's a really good score. One of my other favorite things to get is potatoes. These are either Idaho or baking potatoes. I don't remember which one it is. It doesn't say it. It just says, we'll say potatoes. Um, so this was $1.49. Some of these are sold by pound. Some of these are sold by each. I believe this one's by pound, but they didn't mark it down. Um, a lot of times the potatoes end up in here because they're an odd shape. So if you're going to sell these Idaho potatoes singly, usually people want the big ones. Or there might be like a little crack in it or something. So keep that in mind. Um, also, to go with my cauliflower, I luckily got some broccoli. 79 cents a pound. Yeah, you ain't going to beat that. Um, now this is in here because it's got some of them are like that whitish color. But really, there's not a lot going on here that's wrong. So this is an excellent find. And also, no, I did not just bust out the entire department of this. There's plenty left behind for others, guys, just so you know. Orange peppers, which are normally more expensive than the green ones. I think they taste so much sweeter. Now with these peppers, I usually have to use them pretty quick. See, there's wrinkling, that, wrinkling there. But what I also tend to do is uh, tonight or tomorrow, I'm gonna have a big processing party in my kitchen um, where stuff like this will get cut up and cooked um, we'll roast these things together. Um, these will be fine for a little bit. Some of the other stuff will get processed so that it can be used throughout the week. So it also forces me to do a little bit of meal prep, which cuts down my time significantly during the week. Zucchini, zucchini, zucchini. Love these, 69 cents, a dollar four. Um, when I see this, I think either cut them in rounds, bread them, and fry them. They are so good. Or... <laughs> You can also um, grate them and make a pizza crust out of this, although this is probably not enough. Um, you can make zucchini bread. You can, I like to saute these in the pan with um, some sun-dried tomatoes and olive oil, and they are so good like that. So good. Uh, you can even cut them in half and take out some of the seeds in the middle and make them into zucchini boats and make it into pizza, which is also really fun. Love me some zucchini. I also got some summer squash, which is amazing together with the zucchini. Uh, also, these can be cooked on the grill. These can be roasted in the oven. Um, see, some of this is brown, so this is going to have to be used quicker than some of the other stuff, which is fine. I'll process this either tonight or tomorrow. And this is 79 cents a pound also. So you can see a lot of the vegetables are the same price, but this is 99 cents, but I believe regular price is $2.99 or $3.99 a pound on those. Um, also, one of my other favorite things to get... Lemons, limes, or citrus. $2 for this whole bag. Uh, limes are quite expensive. How many did I get in here? Let's count. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> You're going self? What the heck are you going to do with all those limes? So I love my adult drink as a Cape Cod. I love me some lime in that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these up into wedges. 
and freeze some in an ice cube and put that in a Ziploc bag. I also will juice some of these. And then I also can take out, or I well, should not take out, but I can use the rind, um, the green part here, and I can dehydrate it and make it into a lime powder, which will be great on like tacos and chicken and stuff. So none of this will go to waste. Same thing with my friend, the lemon over here. Now granted, some of these are brown. There are brown spots, but that's okay. These are gonna be used expediently. This one may not be usable, but if there's one thing in here that's not usable, I'm still gonna get it for the price that it is. $2 for this huge bag of limes. Yes, please. There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Out of the 10, one may not be used. So for lemons, I could get fancy and make lemonade with my kids. They think that's really fun. Um, I definitely will be, um, not the skin, the zest. I will take the zest, take all the zest off, and I will use my dehydrator and make a powder. Um, that's amazing flavor bomb to put in stuff. I will take slices of this, put it in ice cubes. I love lemon water in the summer. Or I'll take these lime cubes and also make uh, flavored water with it. And since it's frozen, I can use it later. Um, yeah, those are my, my thoughts on lemons. I also can take these, juice them, and make them into wonderful fresh made um, salad dressings. I believe I have a video about that down below. Uh, I'll link it down below if I do on my playlist. Another really awesome find is apples. Now you must think like, when are you gonna use these bruised apples? Like there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight apples in here. Now this one's the worst. This is probably not usable, but I'm moving on past that. This was $1.94. What can I do with these real quick? What can I do with these real quick? I can chop these up and make my applesauce in the slow cooker. I have a video for that. It's in my playlist down below. I also can make these into an apple betty. I can core the apples and cook them with cinnamon and sugar and make a crumble. I can make a crumble. Uh, a couple of these I probably could just chop up and have the kids eat tonight at dinner, but these can be used really expediently. I love pears. This is some Anjou pears. Now, hold on. These are $3.29 a pound. Interesting. That's, oh no, $5.59 cents a pound. My bad. <laughs> This one's 79 cents a pound for 214. And these Anjou pears, there's five of them, were only 214. I love these. I love the pears when they start to get a little bit soft. So these are a little bit on the brown side, but they're not like super squishy. So they'll be good for a little while. I'm really not concerned about this. My kids will eat these too if I peel them and cut them up. So this is what we have here for my reduced haul. I also have some. Uh, what else did I get? I got a Landry meat pie, and I also got a steak that was on sale on clearance. Um, some other tips. These may be put out at any time at your grocery store. Talk to your produce manager and see if there's a certain time this stuff goes out. Um, also, check that Flash Food app because some of this stuff does go in there. And on Flash Food, they tend to offer it in a box, usually for $5. And they'll show an actual picture of what it is. So those can be a real money saver. Also, um, yeah, just have a plan for planning ahead and how to navigate this second best produce world. I left lots. In fact, I go there in the morning after I drop off my son and I'm usually at the market for like one to two hours. To be fair, I love the market. It's one of my favorite places to be and my favorite things to do all week, but I do love cooking and saving money. So they often will put out another rack before I'm done. So I may have two to three options to pick from for this reduced produce stuff. So yeah, let me know what you guys would do with this stuff. And I'm gonna also insert here a total price and let me know what you think about that. Um, check out my playlist down below. Also let me know my affordably cooking playlist. Also let me know what you think about my idea for a second channel. Yes, no, maybe feedback is appreciated. All right, I will. Put the total in here, I'll be right back. So this was only $29.23. <laughs> I mean, that is probably one of the better scores I've had in a while as far as the reduced stuff, but I just hit it at the right time. I feel like I've also developed a better plan of action in the store, and I just know in my head like what these things are going to be used for. So yeah, please like, share, and subscribe so your friends can learn to be affordably crafty and cookie cooking too. <laughs> Have a creative day, everyone. Bye-bye.